You got one chance. Don't piss me off. Griffin don't want no outsiders in this town, especially Cog. You took a big risk coming here. Look, all we want is fuel, and then we'll go. Is this Griffin willing to trade? Well, lady, he might want to do business with you. Just take us to see him, little man. Now. Great view from up here, Cog. You can see the mess you made of the city. The folks around here haven't forgotten the hammer strikes. Listen, fuckstick, we just saved you from the glowies. We're still fighting and dying out there. Whoa! Sorry, lady. Just explaining how folks feel. Hey. Fear. Tell me about Griffin. Fear. Oh, he's the chief around here. Griffin and Molson Corporation, remember? Yeah, so you've got fuel. Well, not since our last shipment went missing. So you're not much use to us then, are you? Just find us some fuel, and we'll be out of here. Okay, okay. But let me sweet talk the cheap first. <laughs> Look what the weasel dragged in. Chicken! Try not smashing the can this time. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. <laughs> hey, hey, can you show me the two-piece again? All right, one last time. Awesome. Cable cars. Yeah, only crazy guys move around on the ground. Obviously. Yeah, we noticed. Ah, it's the goddamn car. Yeah, yeah, can we come in? Shit, why you bringing them up here? Target practice for the chief? Come on, man. They ain't ordinary car assholes. They just killed a heap of glowies for us. They really need to see the chief. Okay, but only cause it's gonna be fun watching him kick seven shades of shit out you, you little weasel. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you are hopeless. You know, I think I heard of Griffin. People used to say he's badass with the hate for the coalition. Uh, well, he's clearly been a fan of Gears before then. Also, how does this work? You gonna open up? Me yeah, you are. Cog aren't all bad. Take what you need. See what we got here. We got a lot actually, and they're already moved up. Yeah, I really don't ever see myself using that hammer of dawn, so I'm gonna just leave it with the stranded people that had their lives ruined by it. <laughs> little sentimentality. Also, my uh, little pack thing's just really sideways right now. Look, yes, this is off. Yes, it is. Marcus, let me handle this. <clears throat> Mr. Griffin, sir, these car guys showed up and they did a great job on the glowies. Now they want some fuel. What the fuck are you doing bringing the cog here into my city? They, 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 they killed the glowies, sir. They, they just want some fuel. Boy, get out of here before I lose my patience. So welcome to Griffin Tower, Cog. It was here before you destroyed Char and is still standing now. And so am I. Got some nerve coming around here asking for favors, motherfuckers. Sir, we understand. We just need fuel, and then we'll go. Bitch, you don't understand shit. You seen those ash remains? Those were my workforce, my employees, my family. I don't like their rest being disturbed by outsiders, and especially no fucking cog. Oh, I think we understand grieving. Oh, and who the fuck are you? Marcus Phoenix. Hmm. It is a name I think I recall. You know the first rule of business, Mr. Phoenix? Remind me. It's what's in it for me. You need fuel, so do I. 
Ironic scene is how I built an empire on it. So you get my fuel back, and I'll let your punk ass keep some. Well, what's stopping you from getting it? Our refinery across the way is a little late with the fuel shipment. Shit, they didn't even send my cable car back. So I'm asking you to progress the order for me. Get my fuel and my cable car. Now, can you manage that, killer? You wouldn't be setting us up now, would you? Now, get, God damn it, get your hands off me! Marcus! They jumped me and took the truck! They were ah, oh, Every contract has a performance guarantee, Phoenix. Your associate is now mine. Don't you lay a finger on him. Don't you fucking dare. You got an hour. Don't waste it. Let's go, Marcus. Freaking love Marcus's voice actor. Yeah, John DiMaggio's a really, uh, well-distinguished dude when it comes to voices. Mm -hmm. Very intimidating voice. Okay, Marcus. Oh, uh, hello, this. group huddle, yeah. I guess? How's it going? Yeah. Jace, are you okay? You look like you're <laughs> bleeding on your forehead. What is going on there, buddy? It looks like a shotgun literally <laughs> penetrated your head. He's been burned. Nice of them to leave all these supplies lying around. Eh, just needed those bullets. Oh, even more supplies over here. Ah, the bright line of burns. Yeah. Certain to do a thorough rules. job here. I've never seen a city trash this bad. Damn, it must have been hard to push that button. It was. I was there. Oh, shit, Anya. My bad. I ain't meaning like that. It's okay. Oh, jeez. So much for that ammo. Yep. Wow, really? So much for it? Here we go again. Oh, Good. great. I need Rolling to kill riches. something ugly. Ugly train lineup. Archer now. <laughs> Stay sharp. These assholes could come out of anywhere. Position. Get that covered right now. Well, that worked Come out. On, this way, head for the tower. <laughs> No wonder you wanted yes. us to do this shit. This is a hell of a walk. Yeah, and right through Lambent territory. Man, I hope Dizzy doesn't get any ideas and try to fight his way out, you know? You know how he is. I'd say we go back and grab him if we didn't need the fuel so badly. Collapse! 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 More collapse! Answer. Not far off, honestly.
shit, they've cut us off! 